Hey guys, gonna go ahead and post in the group that we are live. I have something really exciting today. So if you are watching the replay, go ahead and type the re uh well the replay. <laughs> go ahead and type replay. I am about to post in the group that we are live. Um if you are on here with me, go ahead and say hello. I'm gonna log on to the computer too, because last time I couldn't see the comments. So just in case you guys have the comments, um, I'm going to have it pulled up here too. So welcome to the live. Um, tonight we are talking about including your family into your business. And that's something that I am very passionate about. And I love speaking about that. Um, I do have like one announcement and then we'll get to the subject. But um, yeah, if you are on live, go ahead and say hi. See, y'all saying hi and I don't even see it on my phone. So pretty sure Facebook then did something. Um, hey, Keyshawn. Hey, Tanya. Um, hey, Miss Business Goddess. <laughs> uh, hey, Monet. Hey, Sissy. So, yeah, so my first, well, my announcement, my only announcement for tonight, um, I just wanted to quickly, hey, Tina, go over, I get a lot of questions in my inbox about coaching and the mentorship program, and people ask, like, um, which one do I think is best for them, what's the difference, so I just wanted to real quickly go over the difference between the coaching program that is going on right now, um, the next masterclass is going to be on the 20th. Third, and I'm going to go over the difference for the mentorship program. So, um, let me go ahead. Hey, Tanya, are you, are you tagging Cynthia here? Okay. Um, so yes, the coaching program and the mentorship. So coaching is a monthly subscription every month. It is $37. It's going to be charged on the, whatever day that you sign up for the membership that day, every month is going to automatically, you know, charge the credit card for the monthly membership. There is no contract as far as you don't have to stay in it for like a year, two years, whatever you can, you know, opt out whenever you feel like it. And so the coaching is more of a group setting where we talk, well, I give um, a masterclass every month and it's tailored around, of course, business. So we have a private group. We go over one class a month and then like I give like accountability as far as like posting in the group. We have, uh, we communicate in the group. That's again, a private group. Um, also inside the coaching program, um, you get a discount on one of the classes if you do the year membership versus monthly. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So yeah, every month there's a different topic that's going to help you with your business. It's not a one-on-one -on -one focus. It's a group focus. So that's coaching. Um, mentorship. And I'm, so I'm looking over here. I'm looking over here because I got my little board over there with all the information for everything. I'm looking over here to see if y'all got questions. And then the camera is right here. So yeah, interesting. So the mentorship program is more one-on-one. So we're going to really dig deep into your business. We're going to definitely have accountability. It's two different levels on how you want to um, join the mentorship. So you have the undergrad program and then you have the scholar program. And of course it's labeled that because this is Boss Lady University. And so the undergrad program, we're going to talk about business clarity, um, business setup, business credit and personal credit, goal mapping, vision and mission clarity, audience clarity, because I talk about a lot, who is your audience? You don't want to just create something and just throw it out in the wind. You want to tailor it to your audience. Um, we're going to talk about branding. We're going to talk about business plan templates. So, you know, creating a business plan. We're actually going to create a business plan. Um, we're going to talk about multiple streams of income business budgeting, you get two one-on-one strategy calls, which those are typically, I think it's like 150 a session. So you get two free uh, strategy calls. We have group calls and then there's an undergrad workbook. Now that's the undergrad program. The scholar program is, um, 
The scholar program, you get everything in the undergrad. And then also, in addition, you get um, tax strategy with the expert. So I'm going to be bringing in an expert, even though I know a lot about taxes. I've actually done taxes, um, but I'm also going to bring a CPA in versus I'm not a CPA. I'm just... Um, I don't remember the, it's, I'm a tax preparer. I don't remember the name for it. I had to do it, a membership yearly for it. Um, but I don't really do it as much. So I'm going to bring in an expert for business taxes. We're going to talk about passive income again, but we're actually going to create a passive income. So it's not just me giving you the information. I'm going to actually um, help you create uh, multiple streams of income in your business. We're going to talk about trademarking saving money like the rich um we're going to talk about government contracting and i'm bringing in an expert for that too um and how it works and why every no matter what genre you're in career profession whatever you need to know how to do this and you should do this we're going to talk about that um we're going to you're going to have one free month of boss lady coaching you get one free academy course that's on my website outside of the pncc world you're going to get four one-on-one -on -one calls um you get a workbook and also free admission to the boss lady and i'm not calling it a conference anymore i'm calling it a mastermind because it's going to be very small and intimate it's going to be about 15 women in mexico you get one free admission to the uh, mastermind that's there plus room and board free room and board um and that's the scholar program so if you are interested and you want more information feel free to inbox me um all the information too is also on my website which is mariavenzant.com and yeah that's the difference between the conference or the um mentorship and the coaching program so that's the difference but if it's still not clear feel free to inbox me that's fine so tonight what we are talking about is getting family involved in your business so um for those of you who don't know i have four beautiful kids um this month three of them are turning a different age and then next month i have another one so yes i have three may babies and one june baby so this month we're turning 19 17 11 and uh eight no i'm sorry nine I don't know if he heard that <laughs> he's turning nine um so yes i get them involved in my mini businesses throughout the years and i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about you know getting your kids involved or even if you don't have kids maybe like a mom or a cousin or whoever so as always i like it to be interactive if you guys have kids if you can go ahead and post you know you said he heard that it did get kind of quiet in there they just were arguing and it got quiet so i feel like he heard that um but yeah if you have kids if you could comment below like you know if you have kids how old they are that's going to give me an idea also on how to tailor the information because again i have this wide range where i have a 19 year old all the way down to a nine year old so how to get them involved so the first thing i want to talk about in in regards to getting them involved is sharing what you do so from the very beginning like my kids know that i'm an entrepreneur they know what i do it has um brought some some very interesting conversations um i actually just today did a career day at my kids school and i went in and talked about being an entrepreneur and i talked about of course the businesses that i have and pass out flyers so they can book a party uh but yeah so i went to my kids classroom and talked about being, being an entrepreneur but my kids know what i do um i've been teaching them early for example like pretty princess i started that seven years ago and so my daughter jordan you know what is that? Maybe she was seven, eight, nine, 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 four years, four or five years old around that time. And she wasn't really involved. She actually got invited to almost every party. But she knew that we had this business and that it was a fun business. And so since she was like four or five, she grew up in this business. Now she actually works inside the business. She, can, If you talk to her about anything, Pretty Princess, she can give the whole spiel. Um, she knows everything about Pretty Princess. So if you start when they're young and get them like, you know, the information of, hey, mommy is doing this, um, we're doing this and why we're doing this, you know, so just really 
informing them on what you're doing and, and really helping them feel involved in being a part of your business. So since the beginning, teach them early about what you're doing. Um, another thing that I actually run into this problem a lot is separating professional from personal. Because again, like my kids have been involved for this with this for so long. I'm getting better at this, but um, we have to have different meetings to make sure that we do not blur the line of, okay, when you're working at Pretty Princess and it's a party, I'm not mom, I'm the owner. Um, so, you know, we're not going to sit here. We're not going to argue. If you decide to call in as the owner, you can call in because I have other hostesses that call in. But as mom, I'm sitting here like, why? You know, you can't call in. You're not sick. You're not. But I'll have to separate the two business and personal. Uh, so th when you start to share and you get them invo involved, the, bl the lines do blur like they blur. And I'm seeing you guys, I'm looking, I see all the different ages of your kids. That's a, oh, four, oh, you got, you got a one-year-old. Okay. Uh, okay. That's awesome. Um, yes. Yeah, so try not to blur the lines, but it happens because again, we're human. You're still mom. That's still your daughter. That's still your son. And you know, we know inside information that a regular boss won't know. So when you try to call in and you say you sick and I'm looking at you play the game, you know, so there. And then also a part of sharing with you what you do with your kids, you're creating an environment to help them feel involved by bouncing ideas. So like when we do an event, right, uh, my daughter and I does that a lot. Um, when we do an event, I get their ideas. When we about to do summer camp or when we're about, even with Boss Lady, um, I bounce ideas off with the kids. And, you know, um, they talk about in this, the aspect of moms or with Pretty Princess, you know, um, I'm sorry. Bella, send her inside, Cameron. The dog is following my son with his pizza. Um, so yes, get them involved and get their ideas because they have ideas. They have really good ideas actually. So like having them feel involved and valued and things like that in your business by just having conversations, having meetings. And I talked about this before. If you have a meeting, you go out to eat and you have a meeting. That's now a business meeting and it's a tax write off. So like we're always talking about business. Uh, so that's number one, share what you're doing with them so that they know they're in the know, they feel included. Um, that's one way to get them involved in your business. A second way is to include them in the process. So when we moved into our building with Pretty Princess, we all were involved in this process. We were all laying the floors, painting the walls, you know, putting the furniture together. Uh, we had game night during the different times. We had movie nights, you know, we would order pizza and have it there. Like they were, they were involved, like really involved in the building of this place. So when we go and we see this, amazing spa that we created they were involved in that process and they can also you know see the accomplishment that we did so them being involved in the process like i see that my sister is on um having a clothing store if you involve your daughter with you know when she, you bring in the products and they're in plastic bags and maybe having her unwrap the stuff and maybe putting a price tag on it or if you got like as far as branding putting your own label on there like they're involved in the process and they're gonna feel you know included in what's going on and then also will appreciate the growth of uh, so like you know that started from the bottom now we here they can appreciate the growth of seeing the the where you started to like let's say you actually get into a retail store and they're gonna see okay they're gonna remember like my daughter Imani being 19 she remembers when we did the traveling spa parties she remember when I first started doing my lives and you know building it that way and then get to see where it is now with the branding and how we've come a long way so having them involved in the process is going to help them feel included as well uh, she does it all and almost talks as good as me. Right. So like imagine the skills and this is going to be the next one, the skills that they are learning in the process that they would probably wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Where else will my, would my 10 year old go 
and be able to be, we call her like the brand ambassador or the future CEO. Where else can she go and develop the skill to be talking to not only kids her age and at the party, she talks to the adults and they're just so amazed. Where else would she be able to go and gather this work experience? Because she's really building her resume while she do this. Uh, where else would my daughter, before you, they can actually go get a job, She would, they were characters. They were like, um, and Elsa and Anna, where else would she be able to go and be able to become a character and interact with kids and, you know, have this different personality to where now her first, well, not her first job, because, you know, I was her first job, but she went and applied to um, a skating ring and was able to put it on her resume that she used to work at a party place or not used to because she still says she did. And she worked at kid parties and she was a character and she was this and she was this. So with you when you bring them on and this let me go to number three which is hire them when you bring them on and you hire them and you pay them they're starting to build their resume at a very young age they're getting the experience not necessarily probably the education but they're getting the experience and we all know that sometimes it doesn't matter if you have education when you graduate with a degree they're looking for experience too. So by them working with you, they're getting experience and then they'll get their education and they'll have both when they go out and do whatever career it is that they want. So they're going to learn customer service skills. Um, they're going to learn, you know, communication skills when it comes to working with employees or, you know, and it's funny, I was, was going to say Karen's because when I went and did the career fair and I asked the kids, the two different classes, third and fifth grade, it's like, well, what do you think a con is when it comes to being an entrepreneur? Both classes said Karen's and that was just so funny to me. So like they're going to learn these skills on how to deal with difficult customers and how to problem solve and things like that. So, um, just hiring them, you're giving them person, they're learning skills by doing that. But when you hire them, don't force them into a role. And I learned that even with dealing with like Jordan again, she's my 10 year old, that's going to be turning 11. And so I have her or I had her doing the facials. And she absolutely hate doing the facials. Why does she hate doing the facials? I don't know, but she does not like it. So I went and I had to go and switch the position because I'm not going to go let her do nails or feet or makeup. So I, ha I made her like, um, we haven't gave her official title, but she's like the brand ambassador of the party. She's like, she goes around, she talks to the kids and makes sure they're having a good time. And she talks to the adults and she loves that part. And she gets a lot of compliments from the adults by doing that. So when you help your kid find their lane and what you do, is going to be beneficial for you versus forcing them into a role that you think you need them in. And then every single time it's a fight to get them like if you want them to uh check email and they miss the you know you give them and say hey every wednesday check the email or whatever and they are they don't every time you got to go and remind them because they don't want to do that so help them find their lane in what you do that's going to be beneficial because when they love it they're going to want to do it versus feeling like they have to um also by helping you and hiring them they're going to learn money management so jordan gets paid every two weeks just like everybody else and her money goes directly into her um checking account or savings account and so when she wants to pull it out we have a meeting we talk about okay what do you want to pull out what is it for and you kind of you know she's learning money management on how to save if you have this big purchase you're going to learn how to save for the goal um, whatever. So she's learning money management skills at a young age where again, where else would she learn these skills if, you know, outside of working for you? So, um, yes, that's hire them. This was a short one today. It's actually short because I actually had to leave in a little bit and I'm taking a flight to, uh, Milwaukee. Um, so the last one that I want to talk to is bring them along. Um, I used to do this and I still do this now. I bring them to different things that I have. Definitely when I have spa parties, um, they come with me because half of them work. Cameron doesn't work the parties, but we created a space in the back for him to be able to go back there and play video games. Um, when I had my meetings with Infinity and I had contractors, I made it a family uh, friendly environment to where sometimes my contractors would bring their kids and we would have like a little area for them to go and my kids would be there 
And so, you know, whatever I do, I would bring my kids with me. And when I did, or actually when I do events, like just recently, I don't know if Michelle is on here, me and Michelle did a radio um, interview and we went into Atlanta. I brought my daughter Anaya with me and she was sitting outside and she took some of the pictures. And so I brought her with me when I would go travel to Milwaukee for work. I brought Imani with me as my secretary. And when I did like my work, my workshops, boss lady workshops, she was there. She was in the meeting and, you know, I would have her take notes and stuff like that. So they were very much involved. They got to see how everything was going. Um, and they enjoyed it. And when they stop enjoying it is when you can, you know, let them do whatever it is that they want to do as a kid. Because at the end of the day, they're still kids. So don't force them to be involved. But it's helpful when they are. It's helpful for you and also for them, again, to teach them lifelong skills that they're going to need as they go and navigate life. So that is my short information on how to bring family and get them involved. Are there any questions? Any questions? I just don't want to rush it. I'm on pack, so but as soon as I get off, I'm gonna head to the airport. But yeah, so that is the live for this week. Um, I I'm pretty. I think I have a. Um, I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I think I have another live for next week. So again, I hope this was helpful. If you guys are interested in the coaching program, our next uh, master class is the 23rd. Um, so you can go to the website and sign up for that at mariavinzant.com and the mentorship program information is there too. So as always, I hope that this was helpful and I will see you guys later on the next class. All right, bye.